Today we're going to be experimenting with different kind of watercolor techniques. So I have two different size brushes and I have my watercolor paints. Now you'll notice these watercolors, they're dry. There's nothing coming out of them. So I have to add water. Notice how gently I'm rubbing my brush in this watercolor paint. Only a little bit on the edge is coming off. And oh, it just looks so nice. I can move my brush in different ways. I want you to experiment in different ways of moving your brush. But you know, I've painted before, and maybe there's some other different things I could do, like a sponge pressed around in my paint, maybe picking up some of the paint and getting some texture in different areas. If I clean my brush off, I could get a different paint wet, and so maybe I'll get some orange wet and try with my sponge in my watercolor paints and see how that looks. I wonder what a toothbrush would do. I wouldn't necessarily want to rub it around in my watercolors because that would hurt it, but man, it could do some interesting stuff with the paint that's already on my paper. Now I'm going to get some nice, fresh, wet paint on my paper because I want to experiment with salt. And to use salt, I have to use it on paint that's really wet. Otherwise, it's not going to really do much. But you can see, oh, that looks so cool. I'm just going to keep experimenting with different colors, different techniques, different materials, and we will see what kind of different techniques and textures we can discover. So once I have finished painting on one of my papers, I can start on another one, maybe try something else out, or if it's my table's turn, I can get ready to do some printing. Now of course, I'm gonna be printing with a fish. So I've got my brayer, and I'm going to roll some paint on that brayer. I'm gonna roll it around so that I can't see any white or brownish spots. It's just all black on my roller. That's looking pretty good, a couple little spots. Ready to go. So I'm going to roll my brayer on top of my textured fish. Now I want to try to get all the little spots on my fish, making sure I get my fins and my tails and my eyeballs, all with my black paint. Now once I'm happy with how much paint I have on my fish, I'm gonna take my paper, lay it on top, and really rub it well over the fish to try to get some good details. Pressing on the fins to see if I can get all those details appearing on my paper. I am pretty happy with how that turned out. I can see its eyes, I can see a couple fins, I am loving my Gyotaku print. Now, if you're not loving your Gyotaku print, there is always another chance to try some more. As you can see, mine is not a perfect print. It does not have every detail. But that is awesome because that means nobody else's print is just like mine. It is perfectly unique. So I'm going to make sure I sign my unique print, and I would love to see what yours look like.